so now you can see the analysis has been completed and it took around 20 minutes to solve and now we are going to see the result so i will cancel and i'm going to close this and once again open up a new file so i will go to new and i will go to close all so i will close this open up the go to file and go to open as usual i'm going to open the binary plot file and open d3 plot file so here you will see the result if you go to the files first in the file folder you can see multiple files are generated here you will see one more file that is el out file so this file contains all the information of the analysis you will see d3 hsp file this file contains the plot data that we are going to use you can also use this k file right click add it with notepad plus plus so here you can go to any language let's say this is this language and here you will see all the details of this file that we are using so here you can see the termination time and database etc so now i will go to the software and uh, first let's see i will go to the post from here click on post fringe component and let's say i want to see the ndv displacement and i want to see in x direction close and here you need to change the state okay one by one or you can directly go to this last one from here here you can see the maximum displacement in x direction is 10 and if you want to see the animation here and i will zoom out like this you can see how the displacement is going to take place you will not see the effect of necking the fracture in this analysis because to show the necking and fracture we need to use some different kind of model that is john cook model so it, it so it is an advanced type of analysis for which we need the damage parameters so we are going to solve this kind of problem later in the course now let's see the stresses so stop this and select the last state this is 102 and i want to go to fringe component once again stresses we can select the x stress and done from here you can see the stress in this case is 486 megapascal now i want to create a plot of stress versus strain and to create the plot we will go to the ascii from here ascii parameters here i will go to el out because we have defined the parameter for this el out then we need to find the stress here so i'm going to take the von Mises stress here effective von Mises stress and here click on load so when we click on load it will automatically select the sh95 the element we have taken so now click on plot okay it is not plotting we need to once again click on effective one misses and plot now you can see a plot between effective stress and time i'm going to save this plot go to go to save and here go to path select the browse here and here i will give it some name this is my stress data stress i can select the format here there are multiple format let's say this is my curl file and i will save it after that i will click on done and click on quit now i want one more curl between the this train so for this we need to select the plastic strain from here that is yps yield point plastic strain of the same element click on plot so you can see yield value that is plastic strain versus time once again i'm going to save it and browse 
this is the plot for strain i'm going to save it and save it click on quit so if you go to the folder we have two plot that is for strain and stress now i'm going to combine both of these plot so click done here and then go to xy plot from here go to xy here select cross here it will automatically show stress and strain in the x i want the strain so select strain from here and click on strain now in the y make sure this y is highlighted so select stress you will see stress here click on this now strain versus stress click on plot so now we have a curve between plastic strain and effective stress now i'm going to save it save i'm going to save this file as microsoft word file so i'm going to select msoft csv file and save as browse so this is my curve between stress versus strain so versus strain give it any name stress versus strain and save so if you remember during the material definition we have used similar kind of curve to put the to put the material parameters so now i will go to quit and now done here once again go back to the files so once you save that file in the folder you will see one more file that is microsoft excel file stress versus strain i'm going to open this file in microsoft excel so here you will see multiple points so first we have to create a plot so select this and this go to insert here go to plot let's say this plot and i will try to expand this so basically from this plot i want to find the value of e10 that is tangential modulus so here in the home okay in the this b i will select the number similarly in a i will select the number so select this last point so this value is somewhere turning out to be 482 so the value of stress let's say on the last point is 482 and the strain is 0.23 so we can take this as strain e 0.23 similarly for this point now if we take this 250 point this value is zero so we will take somewhere close to somewhere close point let's say here let's say 270 okay at 270 this is 0.02 we can also increase this let's say here increase decimal and we will see if the values are increasing okay you can see at 270 this is 0.02 so this is it's this is 270 and this is 0.02 so the value of e10 will be the difference between these value and this will be divided so the difference will be 482 minus this 270 value similarly the difference between these two is this minus this now e10 value is the ratio so this 212 divided by 0.2 and this value so you can see this value somewhere close to 1000 and during the analysis if you see in the material data let's say i will search for this i have taken the value 1000 and let's see in the material here you can see in the piece wise material we have taken e10 that is 1000 and the value coming out from the analysis is also very much closer so it means our analysis is correct and our stress strain value is also correct 